Kickers have the loneliest job in football. They practice the majority of the time on their own. They're only in on five to ten plays in a game. Sometimes they're the hero, sometimes the goat. In this week's prep zone, Chris Egan tracked down an up and coming kicker who knows about solitude as he chases his dreams. For Sumner High's Wyatt Redding, the day begins just before the dawn. Three to five times a week, he jumps on his 1970s green huffy and sets out on a journey. While his friends are still sleeping, Wyatt is cruising down Valley Avenue. He's making his way to his second home. It definitely can be a lonely world sometimes being a kicker. He's probably the most dedicated, humble kid that I can remember. I mean, he's been riding his bike here um, for years. Uh, really, nobody's around. Um, it's just, it's just fun kicking by yourself. You know, well, up the pressure's taking off in the morning. Wyatt gets to the field just after 5 a.m. A cold wind is blowing, but Wyatt is prepared. I used my phone flashlight for a while and that did not work well. So now he brightens the field with flashlights and starts kicking. I just wanna maximize the opportunity I have and just come out here, work on it, and because I don't get that many reps in a game, so might as well get reps out here. On this morning, he takes nearly 100 kicks, even knocking down a couple from 60 yards out. 60 yards! Sure, he's missed a few, but right now this 16-year-old sophomore is the sixth-ranked kicker in the nation for his class. He's obviously got some talent, but when talent works like that, he's going to be a special kid. As a freshman, Wyatt knocked in seven field goals, including one from 49 yards. This season, he's 100% on extra points and has hit nine field goals, which includes a career-best 51-yarder against Curtis. I just like the pressure a lot. Uh, especially when I make it afterwards. Wyatt has made some big field goals for the Spartans, but it's what he does on kickoffs that Coach Ross seems to love the most. If a kicker can kick it in the end zone and make high school offenses go 80 yards, the percentages of them scoring are not very high. So it's a, it's a big weapon for a defensive school. It's a blessing and I got him for two more years. And as much as Keith Ross is in love with Wyatt's leg, the Green Huffy has also caught Coach's attention. His looks like a 70 Camaro. It's got the little gas tank on the top, you know, and he found it at a garage sale to ride to school to kick balls. More people know about my bike than they know me. Which I'm fine with. I mean, it's a, it's, it deserves some fame getting me here. And when the day comes to an end, it also gets Wyatt home. In Sumner, somewhere on Valley Avenue, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports. Uh, Wyatt and the Spartans play Eastlake in the playoffs Friday night. And by the way, he also has a 4.0 GPA and is Sumner's sophomore class president. You know, that kind of discipline, you're riding a bike that early in the morning, he is always going to remember those days when he's had tough days ahead and remember where it started. So it's wow. pretty cool. Where is he going to be in 10 years? He's yeah. a special kid. Great character. Yeah. yeah. Good story. Mm -hmm.